Alright, so this is Worms 4 Mayhem. It's the fourth game in the line of games called Worms. And basically, you have a team of little worms, and you fight other teams um, to the death. That's basically what it is, and so I'm going to show you an example of a game. Alright, so... There's tons of like challenges. It's it's basically just like a normal game. You can do all the things you can do in a normal game, but um, it's a lot quirkier. Like it's it's strange. Um, the things the worms say are really weird, and the guns you can use aren't really conventional weapons. Like I'll, I'll show you some of the weird ones, but it's it's sort of like a funky game. Um, but it's good though. It's good. It's an old game. Um, I'm not sure how long I've had it, but I, you could probably buy it for like you know, two dollars or something like ridiculously low. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun and um, the graphics aren't, you know, modern, like really good graphics, but um, it's sort of stylized like that. Um, so it's, it's fun. Alright, so just skip the intro, it's boring. Um, so you have a certain amount of time here, I have 30 seconds to um, choose my weapon of choice. For instance, this poison arrow, and shoot it. Hopefully, poisoning Arthur on the other team. Mm -hmm. And so, basically, there's a time limit. As you can see, it's um, it's on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. It's um, 30 minutes, but um, that, we don't have to really worry about that because in the challenges, you only have a certain amount of time to beat the challenge, like five minutes. Oh crap. But anyway, there's online multiplayer and sort of like a single player storyline, um, just just like any other sort of first person shooter, um, but this is sort of like a team based game. It's it's sort of it's not really anything I've ever played before. Um, yes, but I really like it. Yeah, that's my favorite uh, weapon. It's called the Holy Hand Grenade, and as you can see. It's it's pretty, pretty good. And now this is one of the weirder weapons, called a super sheep. You have different animals in this game that can like fly around and blow you up. Oh That's ridiculous. Oh crap. And when you're poisoned, uh, your worm becomes green. And that's not good because every time um, someone gets poisoned, they lose 10 points every round. Yes. Hopefully I knock him into the water. Yeah, okay. So, one of the big parts of this game is that when worms fall into water, they drown. Um, which is, I guess, sort of like real life. But, if you want to get rid of a worm quickly, you can knock into water, and that will always take away all its health. Um, but other than that, you have to sort of poison them or blow them up with rockets. Oh no. Crap. And... The physics in this game are pretty, you, I guess they're kind of weird at first. Like when I first played it I was like, wait, what's going on? There's worms and there's like, fi there's weird crap. But um, I, I think you get used to it. Um, it's, like I said, it's really fun and it's really um, sort of intense, when you, especially when you don't have very much tie left and you have a lot of enemies to kill. Um, I've had some pretty epic moments, like you know, when I've throw a grenade just perfectly, you know, just the right time to blow up the enemy, or, you know, done, you know, something else incredible like that. Um, no. Okay, good. I thought he was going to fall in the water. But yeah, the, uh, CPU is, can be range anywhere from, like, easy to hard, but you can, ch uh, in multiplayer, you can choose the number of CPUs, uh, to play against, so it could be you versus, like, eight, um, CPU teams. Um, which of course would be like really, really bad for you. Now I'm gonna see if I can try to knock this guy into the water with this airstrike. Damn it. Didn't work. Oh well. Now, I'm supposed to be able to beat this in five minutes, but I. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Oh well, I'm just gonna try not to completely lose my team. Oh uh, no. Please don't. Please don't. 
Oh, oh my god. Wow, two points of health. Alright, so... Now this is sort of like a... This is called Starburst, it's sort of like a suicide thing. Where you can sacrifice your worm. Crap, oh my god. Okay, well I just wasted a worm. Basically, you, your worm turn, turns into a rocket, and it's your job to sort of steer him into the enemy. Um, this is this is one of the quirkier weapons. It's this just big fat guy that bounces around. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Backfire. Anyway, yeah. They have really weird weapons, like banana bombs, you know, old ladies, sheep, su super sheep. Alright, let's see if I can... I'm gonna put a bubble trouble in here, so that they can't get me, and... Try to the big fat guy on him, see if he dies. Nice, oh. That looked like it hurt. Come on. Oh, nice. 103 points. So, before you start each round, you get like 10 seconds of what's called hot seat time, which basically gives you, um, what? Which basically gives you, um, sorry, I was just surprised by the cow airdrop. Um, it gives you like a little bit of time to look at your surroundings before the clock starts. And so as you can see, I'm just sort of looking around. Alright, this is the Icarus Potion, basically just a little thing to help you fly. Hmm, what should I use? Shotgun? This is probably the only, like, conventional weapon. Basically just use it to shoot people. Uh, it does 20, well, it does 25 points of damage, which, ooh, yes, is just enough to kill this guy. Gotta run out the clock, make it more epic. Did I do it? Did I do it? Yes! Alright, finally. I defeated the uh, blue team. And that's pretty much the game. Um, like I said, you can play online. Uh, there's actually, I was surprised for how old it is, there's still people um, online that are playing the game. Um, there's usually like a couple matches maybe um, at one time, but yeah, it's a really fun game. You probably can get it for nothing, like at a old game store, or maybe even online, I'm not even sure. But yeah, it's pretty fun, and you should definitely check it out if you want to.